Prince William blinds himself to get through royal duties, I couldn't see anyone. William has been campaigning on the topic of mental health for years alongside his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and brother Prince Harry. Harry has been speaking out increasingly since he stepped down as a senior royal last year and moved to the U.S. with his wife Meghan Markle. He has even released a new documentary series on the topic with Apple TV+, Plus, alongside Oprah Winfrey, called The May You Can't See. In this series, Harry speaks openly about the trauma of his mother's death and on the difficulty he had in carrying out royal engagements due to anxiety. He told Oprah, Before I even left the house, I was sweating. I was in fight or flight mode. Panic attacks, severe anxiety. 28 to 32 was a nightmare for me. I was freaking out every single time I got in a car and every single time I saw a camera. He added, everywhere I go, every time I meet someone, it's almost like I'm being drained of this energy, picking up on somebody else's emotion. However, the Duke of Sussex is not the only one to experience anxiety while carrying out royal duties. In the BBC One documentary Football, Prince William and Our Mental Health, the Duke of Cambridge was asked how being in the public gaze made him feel uneasy and anxious. He replied that he did when he was younger, but not so much now. He then revealed an unusual trick he developed for beating his anxiety when making a speech. He did not wear glasses or contact lenses so he could not see people's faces. William said, My eyesight started to tail off a bit as I got older, and I didn't used to wear contacts when I was working, so when I gave speeches I couldn't see anyone's face. And it helps, because it's just a blur of faces and because you can't see anyone looking at you- Dash, I can see enough to read the paper and stuff like that- Dash, But I couldn't actually see the whole room. And actually that really helped with my anxiety. These comments came alongside a serious conversation about male suicide and mental health in football. On suicide, William said, it's scary and it's frightening and it's real. He said he believes the stigma around mental health in the UK stems from the internalized grief and sadness felt after two world wars. He also believes that people's desire to forget traumatic experiences and get on with life can be harmful. The Duke was followed by the BBC as he promoted his Heads Up initiative around the country. The project aims to raise mental health awareness and to encourage football supporters to speak about their issues. The second in line to the throne said you know, it's weird because, I've always loved football but I love football more now than I've ever loved it before and I don't know what it is, whether it's because I'm a parent now and I need football more in my life, I don't know, maybe it is that. William has been an Aston Villa fan for many years, often turning up to engagements donning the club's iconic claret in blue. Throughout the documentary, William met footballers and fans to learn about their experiences with mental health. During a visit to West Bromwich Albion Football Club to meet players who have experienced people close to them ending their own lives, the Duke said, It is one of the biggest killers of young men under 45, as pain and grief goes. And I've heard this from sadly too many families who have been bereaved by suicide. It is one of the rawest forms of grief, because you are left with so many unanswered questions. Could I have done more? Should I have done more? Why did they do it? William also opened up to Marvine Sordell about how fatherhood brought back painful memories of his mother Diana's death. He said, Having children is the biggest life-changing moment, it really is. And I agree with you. I think when you've been through something traumatic in life dash that is like you say with your dad not being around, my mother dying when I was younger dash your emotions come in leaps and bounds because it's a very different phase of life. And there's no one there to, kind of help you, and I definitely found it, at times, overwhelming. The May You Can't See is available to stream on Apple TV+.